That's the best place to be. It was so crazy. I, I feel like I've been here already. Too. <laughs> okay. Beautiful stargazers. Here we go. Beautiful stargazers. I want to take two and a half grams of the stargazers. So let's start this baby up. go more with those heads because I want it to be an intense trip so more caps oh look at this baby look at this baby beautiful we're at 1.48 1 1.5 there we go there we go seven That's, look at that, two, two, two. I'm gonna activate that heart vibes, that love vibes, y'all. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't be out here. There we go. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lose anything here. Uh, probably another head. Oof, this one's gonna take me up. To, no, this one's gonna. This one's gonna go over. It's gonna go over. I can tell. Look at this beautiful one here. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. And that is two point five four, which is the four will probably get stuck in the glass. So, don't matter. So that's where we at, guys. Two point five four. One good thing about me It's a beautiful life It's a beautiful life It's a beautiful world That we're living in Hey hey, what up it's your boy Saint And thanks for being here again I greet you all in love and light So today I want to go into my trip report for stargazers. So I took 2.5 grams of stargazer and I want to let you guys know what happened. I want to let you guys know how powerful you are. <laughs> uh, so firstly, I just want to appreciate you and thank you for being in my experience as I am in your experience. Thank you for being a part of me and allowing me to experience all of this. Thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. So let's go into it. So this is how my trip started. I'm gonna break it down. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you as much as I remember. I did record like a voice recording. I might drop this. I might drop the voice recording after this video um, on what happened in the trip. I don't know because I haven't listened to it to see if it's uh, the quality is good or whatever. But even if the quality is not good, I probably still might drop it. Um, so look out for that. I don't know if, I, if there's music playing in the background stuff, then you know YouTube might have the copyright stuff. So I might have to cut off some stuff or might not drop it. I don't know. Alright? I'll only know once I listen to it. Alright, so. Uh, but for now, I'm going to give you a proper trip report from the beginning to the end of what I experienced um, as much as I can remember because 
I this was yesterday that I had my journey and I'm trying to get on this as fast as I can because the more I sit in it the more I'm here in the in the you call it the matrix uh, call it 3d or whatever you want to call it but the more I sit in it the more um, I'm integrating back into it I'm into my memory of what happened is kind of fading you know so um, but you already know <laughs> it all makes sense you already know um, the crazy part is I always come on these videos and I'm telling you guys about how powerful you are and how you're an aspect of God and uh, the things that we here to achieve and grow and empower you know but the truth is you already know <laughs> you already know and that's why I appreciate you so much beautiful being beautiful aspect of God beautiful God you are okay so it started off in the morning so I wake up I don't eat anything. I think I have like a half a glass of water. Right? I don't want to have too much in my system because I don't want to pee and run around while I'm doing my journey. So the only liquid that's going to go down is the one that I mix up with the mushroom. Right? That's the only liquid. And normally it's like one pee within the journey or two maximum. All right, two maximum. And I think it's because of the lemon that I put in, because I always lemon tack it or lemon tea it, because um, it makes the mushroom way more powerful. So if you're taking like two grams, it probably feel like you're taking three and a half grams or four grams of mushrooms if you're just taking it with lemon. All right, if you soaked it in the lemon for a period of time, I normally do half an hour somewhere around there so if you soak it in the lemon for that time it makes the mushroom way more potent it takes out all the sil actually it just removes the psilocybin from the mushroom and when you take it and ingest it it allows the psilocybin to move through your system way more faster and it hits faster quicker all at once so when you normally just consume the mushroom at say 2.5 grams you consume it without anything it, it comes on gradually because your stomach is still digesting it, still breaking down the compounds and then it starts to come on slowly and slowly and it climaxes and then it go, takes its time to leave as well because while it's trying to get out of your system, there's st some still breaking up and still coming into your system. So that's what happens. But with the whole extract type of a way, it's just in and your system breaks down the psilocybin and psilocin and it's out you know so four hour normally about three hours four hours it's out so just uh, adjusting my seating you know, I kind of feel like I want to sit in a lotus position type of vibe okay so it starts off with me taking my mushrooms around because I wake up I take a bath after that uh, while I'm taking a bath, I soak my mushrooms and then when I'm done there, it's already like half an hour uh, when I set up my room and stuff. So I take the mushrooms, put a little bit of water in it, mix it up, shoot it down. All right, that's done. And this is at 11 o'clock or so. So it was like 11, 11, 11, 5, so in the morning. So I'm, I'm there and I'm waiting for it to kick in. My mom's in the house. So today is not like my Alec Benzi type of a trip where I'm alone in the house and I can run around and act crazy. Now I'm, 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 I have it in my mind that this today is going to be mostly visuals and I'm not going to you know, speak out loud or go out or whatever it is. Um, I'm going to try to keep to myself. So I, I put that filter on before it's, it was like an armor type of a thing like I'm gonna protect myself from all of this because if I if I am gonna be speaking crazy out here people are gonna think you're crazy so 
I'm just gonna put that filter on now and know that I'm gonna handle that. And I'm taking Stargazer, which is not such a powerful mushroom. It's good trips, right? Good journeys, good visuals and all of that, but it's so-called known not to be that powerful. Um, so I thought, that's what I thought. Because the people that I met, that's what they said. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, euphoric trips. Huh? No problems, man. You feel love and happiness and so beautiful. So, I took the mushrooms at 11 and it hits half past 11. Now, uh, once I took the mushroom, I knew that it's going to kick in like all my other trips within half an hour to about 40 minutes. So, what I need to do is go straight into meditation that's how I go into my trips so I went into meditation and I did the um, 17 breaths of the macabre so I was there and I was breathing in breathing in breathing in and 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 working on the macabre light body and when I was done with that I realized that hey it's been like 15 minutes or so and it hasn't I haven't felt anything like I haven't felt anything so then I said, all right, cool. Give me more of an opportunity to start doing some chakra meditation. So I start doing some chakra meditation from my spine, moving up, moving up, like, you know, like cleansing and lighting all the chakras. And then from there, putting a nice protection ball of, of actually just strengthening my aura and stuff like that there. And lit some incense as well. And now it's hitting like half past 45 minutes. So 45 minutes, I'm like, hey, let me just go lay down in the bed. So I lay down in the bed and I'm just being aware of my breath. So I'm breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, being aware. I'm, I'm listening to my, my, my mind chatter, which is saying, ha, ah, be aware of your hands, be aware of your finger. I mean, be aware of your body and just move that energy around you and stuff like that. And I'm, it's, it's hitting like an hour now and I'm thinking, hey, what's going on? It's been an hour and this has not kicked in. Now I'm thinking maybe it's the lemon that I use because these lemons were like big lemons. Oh man, I don't even have one at the parlor. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll take out a picture of the lemon and post it up when, I, when I'm editing this video. So these lemons were like big lemons and I was thinking maybe some genetic story with them. Maybe, you know, it, it's not as strong as the normal lemons that I use, the small ones. Uh, but yeah, it was all good anyway, and I'm waiting so it hits like one and a half hour Then I'm thinking no man. I left the mushrooms overnight in my um, in my Pyramid so I got this pyramid that my cousin made for me. So as a birthday gift and um, I, I had my mushrooms in that so because of the energy in the pyramid I was thinking maybe somehow it, it changed the psilocybin or something like that. I mean, come on now, I'm on a different level of belief. <laughs> I mean, if you on this level, you understand that anything is possible when it comes to energies, right? So I'm on a different level. So I'm thinking about anything um, that comes up. So I'm like, yeah, maybe that happened and maybe that's why it's not uh, kicking in as fast or maybe it's not even gonna kick in like it's one and a half hour now and I'm sitting in my bed and it's not kicking in so I stand up now I'm like ah oh, maybe it's not gonna kick in I've had one experience where I took mushrooms and uh, took another um, a, a more mushrooms within like say I don't know how many days it was but then because it was still in my system it was not avoided it just didn't kick in all right so it just didn't kick in because yeah it was it was in my system so when you take mushrooms a, a nice big dose and you take another dose like like close to each other it, it doesn't hit you it doesn't you just feel nausea and you feel yeah you just it, it doesn't give you an effect You'll be laying in your bed waiting and waiting and waiting. So you make sure that you take mushrooms like a nice dose every 15 days or 20 days. I do mine once a month. So anyway, I'm back here. So uh, I wake up from my bed. And I'm like, unlike my other trip, 
where I was like, oh, my feet, can't see my feet and it's vibrating. I have to see my feet. So I wake up, jump off my bed and I go out my room and I see my mom in the bathroom. So I go there, she's like checking herself in the mirror and putting some cream. And I'm like, hey, ma, what's popping? And she says, nah, hey, these mosquitoes. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, ma, don't worry about that. She says, how are you not? Nothing's going on with you. And I said, because she knew I took my, my, my shoes because I always keep it there. And once she sees the lemons, she knows, hey, it's on. Um, something's going on. It's, it's Sunday as well because that's a chill day for me. So um, she checks it out and um, she says, hey, nothing's going on with you. And I'm like, nah, I didn't kick. I'm, I'm, I said, no, I'm okay. And she says, yo, you're strong, eh? When she said that, I suddenly started feeling a bit of tingling going on. And when I say that sound, when I make that sound, the way it sounds is the way it felt. So, like, oh, let me go in my room now. Yay! So I go, I leave my mom, go straight into my room, push the door a little bit. On the TV, I'm playing gospel stuff. So it's a Sunday, so uh, there's some like Christian channels playing, preaching. They're just preaching and preaching and talking about uh, Jesus and all of this stuff. And they're just going on about it, right? So I'm, I left it on. Like I left it in a good sound, like loudish so I can still send you, I can still record a voice note on my phone or something without like maybe my mom hearing me from the other room and be like, hey, this one's talking to himself or something like that. So, well, that didn't work. Just so you know, that didn't work. Um, I lay down on my bed and first things first, ah, oh, man. You know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to piece it together because I don't know. First things first, I felt like I was on my other trip. That's what I felt like. I felt like I was on my other trip, like the Alka Benzi trip. It felt like I was in that time. Now understand this. I felt like I was in that time. Like the time disappeared that it was a different month, it was a different... I was in that time of my first trip. And I felt like I, like, like I just finished speaking to you guys in my mom's room and I came back and I laid in my bed and I'm still on that trip. So it just bl it blended in. And I'm like, what's going on? Then all of a sudden, the crazy guy came out from my other trip, like the one that talks and babbles and laughs and everything now i'm still trying to keep the filter on right there's a filter on me saying hey don't speak too loud someone will hear you from that side and i can hear my mom talking to other people like visitors in the house and stuff so i'm like i gotta keep it down now but this crazy guy is out and he is talking like he is talking about things you know about filters and ego and and I am and he's talking about like like heavy things so I didn't look up on my roof where our our as blisters are which is like tiling roof tiling or whatever you want to call it but I looked up to the roof and then there was patterns all over the roof all over the roof there's patterns and patterns and patterns and things were just going around and I normally don't see much geometric designs I know this here I always say it to myself when I close my eyes I normally don't see as much geometric des uh, uh, designs that people see like people say when you're on mushrooms you see like geometric designs and you see colors and everything so I normally don't see that you know and I'm okay with that I normally go, I see places and things like that, so I'm alright with that. But this time, I closed my eyes when I looked up in the roof and I saw all the signs and stuff, so I said, hey, let me close my eyes. So I closed my eyes, and when I closed my eyes, I saw the pattern, like, 
like a it's a pattern with eyes all over and stuff like that it's the normal one that pops up like but it's not vivid it's like uh, so I'm like oh that geometric design but it's not like oh wow I saw colors and shapes and all of that and then I start seeing like water like water flowing water flowing with pieces of pixels of white coming out of it like it's just spewing out pixels and this is happening right in front of me with my eyes closed right and I'm seeing walls and stuff and things are going on and I'm like whoa what's going on now and now it's starting to kick in so at this time I'm on the voice note I, I put on the voice note and I'm like guys I see this and I see this and that so I'm recording this at this time but I'm, I'm keeping my voice low because I'm just letting you guys know what's happening like hey I see this oh guys I see that oh it's dark here and what not not I open my eyes again and I see on my on my roof there's like a face that stays with me the whole journey like I see this face and for some reason it feels like like a higher dimensional being let me just put it like that I wouldn't want to put it I'm not gonna put a title to it higher dimensional being looking down at me while I'm in my journey I close my eyes I open my eyes and stare it's looking it's a it's 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 like a partial face like half of the face but but it's doing that so it's the whole way through not intimidating not scary let y'all know that because you might think oh it was a face oh my god that was so scary no it was not scary i was okay with it I, it was just like looking at the wall and seeing a shape or looking up in the clouds and seeing a shape and thinking oh that looks like that's what it is. It was just like, oh, that looks like. It wasn't like blinking or looking or moving its mouth or something. It was just, oh, that looks like a face. I can see it. And it's a vivid, clear look of a face. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. Then it started going crazy because the, the inner me, I was inside of me. Like, I could see inside of me. And inside of me had this dualistic or polar opposite type of thing where I was pulling to the left side of me I could feel myself pulling and my face was going to the left side of me and the left side of me was bright it was light it was like it was alive and the other side of me the right side of me was dark so I started pulling to that side and I could hear the, the pastor preaching on the TV and he was talking about Jesus and all of that there and then I started going into some shadow work and it, it was telling me about how I grew up in Christianity and um, and this is happening guys it is telling me these things telling me these things like how you grew up and what you still so much of you have so much judgment towards your journey in Christianity. You have so much judgment towards it. Um, even though you have transcended so much, so many levels, you still feel like that was like a waste of time for you because of where you are now. Now, you got to understand that it wasn't like I judge Christianity or I have a problem with it. It was like I felt like I wasted so much of my life doing that when they could have just told me I'm a God you know and you can develop yourself spiritually and grow yourself spiritually and most importantly just have love and you'd be good you know so I was and that was the side of me that it was pulling to and then the dark side was like all of these things that I still had attachments to and all of that and then when I started pulling to that side instantly instinct instinct instinctively or I don't know how it's how it's pronounced but I started pulling myself back from this side and pulling pushing myself to the right hand side so I can also be both sides it was like a merging of the dark with the light it was a merging I needed to merge both these sides so when I did that the whole room 
pulled all the way this way, including my body and everything, and these places became norm. It wasn't dark, neither was it light. It was just an expansion of the entire room, an expansion of my face and everything, and I became shapes and geometric designs and everything. And I'm listening to these pastors, and while I'm listening to them, they start changing the things they say. So they were like, because I couldn't record this, right? They were saying, so you believe in Jesus? So you read the Bible and wherever it's read, it's what Jesus said and that's why it's read and you should believe in that. If you don't believe in that, like stuff like that. They weren't saying that to everyone else who was hearing that, maybe my mom and stuff. I knew the voice. I was like, what the heck? So I snapped out of the whole visuals and I'm back and I look and I'm thinking, what the heck is this guy saying? And he starts saying even more. Like, you thought God was taking them in to the, the desert for them to be saved? No, He was taking them into the desert for them to be trapped in the matrix. What? The, and I, I tell you guys, there was so much more. All you can, all you understand is signs and geometric designs. And you think that is separate from you? You are everything. Jesus, Jesus. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the Jesus. And then it said, it said, it said, beyond that, there's source, right? But it named source. It named, they, they named source. The voice named source. It said, there's Jesus. And then there's, and then there's, and when it said it, it went, it said, and he is the most powerful. And remember, I'm telling you, remember this. It's not coming from the TV. It is coming from the TV, but it's not what he's saying. This is either the ego or either slash moving into Godism. Because he's saying, this is who it is. That's God. And it, and it says, his name is, and I'm like, what's his name? Who is he? Who is Sauce? I can't hear the name. And it, it, it asks me, do you want to know? Do you really want to know? Do you really want to go? And whilst this is happening, this guy is still talking. He's talking about Cain and Abel and and I don't even know what he's talking about but everything he's talking about is about how God came down and trapped himself that's what he was saying in in simple form how God came down and he was talking about Jesus and how everything and then he started cracking it open and it was Jesus was I and I was Jesus and he cracked it open and then I was Buddha and Buddha was me and he cracked it open and I was like I want to know I want to go I want to know I want to go and then my ego started screaming he was like no I can't go there and I was like I don't give a hoot, I want to go, I want to know, and I was gone. I was gone. Time. Did that over and over and over and over and over on itself. I was over time, it was there I was over everyone and they were there and everyone was there you were there I was there you were there <laughs> you were there even people that I thought hey why don't you take mushrooms I mean it'll open you up and stuff they were there 
and it it was so clear they know they know and I was like the further you are from the further you are from God the more you know God and it, it don't make sense right because we want to know God right and we want to get closer to God and the closer we get to God it was so crazy that I became the beginning and the end and I was the end and the end was the beginning I was a snake biting its own tail I came back for a split second what is a second? I don't know I became aware of my body in the, in the bed and I was like, oh shit, let me touch my fingers and I touched my fingers and I felt like puking I tried to let go of my fingers and in the time that I was letting go <laughs> everything was going like words I didn't know Languages I didn't know, people, places. The guy's still talking on the TV, and he's talking about. Now you know, now you know, you came to find you, you wanted to know you, you came to find you, this is who you are. And I became everything at once, I became, I was, I, I, I knew that I'm God. I was everything and yet nothing. The world broke apart around me, the walls, the room, the the world was gone and I knew I, it was creating and going and creating and going and creating and breaking apart and coming back and the world was and I was laughing and I was talking and I was I was scared and I was in my fear I became blissful because it was like why are you scared of yourself and I was like Okay, I'm not scared. Oh my God, what is this? And then it was like, <laughs> I'm like, no, I want to go. And it was like, this is who you are. And everything was breaking and coming back, and I, it was like, I'm overwhelming, and then not overwhelming, and I was blissful, and it was like everything. I could just hear it over and over. Run. Love, be grateful, be kind to yourself, forgive yourself. You chose this life. You chose this life. Every single thing, every single thing. You can't wrap your head around it now. You can't wrap your head around it now because you're the, you're the human being, right? Slash God, but you're the human being. And you're trying to think, why would I choose so much pain? Why would I be broken hearted? Why would I go through that? Why would I choose that? Why would I lose this person? Why would I be in depression? Why would I... you try trying to think that, right? You did it to feel. You came to learn. You came to grow. You came to experience. I understood everything at once. anything just appreciate and this is from God guys <laughs> or this is from the highest aspect that I've been that I can bring and channel for you guys everything be grateful for it 
Like I had pain in my knee and whatnot and I was complaining about it. I had pain in my eyes and I was complaining about it before I went through this journey and I come out of it and I'm like, I appreciate everything. Give me that pain. Give me, let me hit my hand against that and feel that and be like, oh shucks, that's painful. Give me that, give me that, that problem. Give me that, cause I was even seeing COVID and whatnot flying through everything. And it was like, you you chose everything, you doing this, not, oh, not, you, you might say, this is part of the trip. You have another piece of the trip. Everyone has a piece of the trip. They all doing what they need to do. I can't be here alone without you guys. Y'all allow me to be here. I allow myself to be here. We are all here because of we. I, I, it is, it is, I experience and I'm, I'm God, you God, you chose to come here and experience this. This is but an illusion. This is an illusion that you experiencing and you love it. <laughs> you love this illusion. You know it's illusion. You know, you know. The ones that you say, ah, oh, let me show you guys. Let me, let me give you mushrooms and you can see your potential and see your power. They already know. Some of them will be like, no, I don't want to take mushrooms. Uh, uh. They already know. You already know. You already know. You running away as far as you can from who you are. You just don't want you you know, but you have to forget. That's why I said I I did this last yesterday, and I'm trying to come through because it's 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 fading, it's fading. I'm coming back. I already know. You already know who you are. You know that you chose here. You know how powerful you are. You know that you are beyond all of this. You know that none of this. This is all energy that we put it together and make it into a room and make it into different things, structures. And we say, ah, this is what it is. This is you creating and creating and creating. When you God, everything becomes energy. You energy, you expand, you are everything. And I was like, I cry my bloody but off. I want to go back. 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 Cause the it was like, and I couldn't come back. Cause when I came back and I became aware of myself in the bed, I was breaking things. It was fading. The walls. Everything was. I was nothing. I was looking at my hands and it was creating and it was vibrating. Bzzz. I was energy. And I had a hard pee when I started this journey. And I said, I'll hold it a bit. When it's gone into the journey, I'll pee. I couldn't go to pee. <laughs> I couldn't go to pee. But when I was that aspect of God, I realized that the body is just energy. And I'm in control of everything. I didn't pee. I didn't pee for like five hours when the hard pee was on so I kept it for five hours but I never keep it and it wasn't there my chakras were going crazy my energy senses were going crazy I finally got a chance I finally got a chance to get up out of bed and walk out of my room.
as the aspect of the higher being that I was. I walked into the kitchen and I saw my mom there. And I gave her a hug. And I don't want to lie to you guys. She knew. I knew she knew. I knew she knew who she is. She might have just gave me a hug. She might have just gave me a hug. But I knew her higher self. I knew her godly self. I knew that she remembers everything and she's choosing not to remember it. And the hug spoke volumes. The love, the connection, the I am you and you are. It was, I, I knew I was her. And she knew she was me. And she was like, she was like, I know why we're here. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> Okay, I'm back. <sighs> hey. Um, yeah, so I gave her a hug and she knew. She knew. I felt like she knew and she knew. <laughs> I felt like she knew. And she was saying, hey, like I'm telling you guys, in the hug itself, it was saying, hey, she said, oh, this is what she said verbally, oh, you've been places, I can tell, you went a lot of places today. Guys, she knew. You know, you know, you might think that you don't, but you know. And I knew that she knew that we God, right? And I knew that she knew that we came here to be saint. And you came here to be you. Because that's what you came here for. You came here to work and go through and try to get closer to who you are and be a vegan or a vegetarian or or a raw diet person or or a healthy person or or eat meat or 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 meditate and and do journeys and all of that you knew whatever you're doing right now you knew that you came to do it because you came to experience this life you came to feel in this life the other side, I, I, I won't, I'm not playing games with you. On that level that I was, there's no, there's no, 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 no. There's, there's everything and nothing. Everything and nothing. So I hugged my mom, told her I love her. She told me she loves me too. And I knew that she knew. I managed to walk back into my room. I slapped back on the bed. I'm still I'm nothing again and it's asking me again have you come to know yourself and I'm like yes I do and I snap back into my bed again and I touch my finger and things are going and I'm like what the heck and I'm like trying to hold on and I'm saying I want to come back. All of this is happening. Split seconds in the time that I touch my finger and release my finger, guys. Split second. It's no seconds. It's no time. 
there's no time there's no nothing you everything you feeling everyone you knowing everyone you are everyone everything is everything you are that everything I'm like I look at the world and I see timelines of different places I can go and different things I can do and different decisions I can make that can take me to different places one of them was I could actually I don't think YouTube allows you to say things like that but all of it was there every option was there I saw it every day and I could just be sauce again I felt like the, the reality that I created was my reality in a point in the journey that I could just vanish and no one would even know me like no one would know me then it said be grateful that you're here be grateful that you went to earth be grateful that you created this reality be grateful for the life you created be grateful for the things you have be excuse me be grateful be grateful be grateful be grateful run enjoy live be kind to yourself don't judge yourself don't judge yourself about that and like that and that's black and that's white and that's good and that's bad don't judge yourself don't don't worry you hear yeah, love, love, feel, 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 do, 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 run, run, be nature, feel it all, go wherever, eat whatever, love yourself, love yourself, meditate, get closer to me, you are me, I am you, do it, leave it, don't, do whatever you want to do, follow your heart, 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 I came here, I, I came here to do this. I came here to forget, I came here to do this, I came here to reach out back to me for the end is the beginning and the beginning is the end we are spiral, we spiraling, we spiraling this shape started popping up and, I'm, and it was like I am that shape, I am that shape I showed you that, I showed you that you remember me looking in your eyes then I knew that you knew I was looking at you, I was looking at you through someone else's eyes. And I said, you God. And you chose to be you on this planet. I remembered everyone's eyes. I remembered everyone's words. I remembered people that that haven't ate mushrooms. I remembered conversations I've had with other people. I remembered a, a mushroom journey that I, a ceremony that I did for my mom and my brother, and I gave him. I think it was three grams, three point five grams and he went and lay down in my room for like one and a half hour and he said hey bro i went there i went i seen some things and i'm okay now and i was like what what an hour what i remembered his journey and i felt like no oh, he never see anything did he not i remember my mom's first journey when she was way spewing it feeling cold and feeling good I mean the, the, these things were just signs the feeling cold and feeling hot and then feeling cold and feeling hot that's like the, it's like the integration of these two elements like everything the good and the bad and the black and the white and the, everything is coming together you are everything you are it all I remember all that. I remember the journeys that I've done for other people. When they're like, oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. I saw 
that I am everything uh, or I am this and that or and they were in tears and stuff and I was like I wonder what they saw and stuff and I just realized because I, I had the, the opportunity to not to come and drop a video because I knew that you knew so it makes no difference if I drop a video or, or record a voice note or whatever I know you know I know you know that you all mighty and all powerful and you 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 all that no no ego no pride no nothing you you everything I know you know that it was like do I drop a video and remind you who you are would it make sense to you? So I became aware of all of that and I saw people leaving me small messages here and there. Small things like <laughs> What a wonderful world. <laughs> Cause that's what, what my voice, the, what, that's what the voice in my head was saying. I was like, ah, I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared, what is all this, oh my word. And then, and then I felt the joy and I was like, oh, oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. And it was like dance, enjoy, love it. And I was like, oh, look up. I didn't know if I was coming back because I kept asking send me back I kept begging send me back there was no time there like even when I came back to my body like in the bed there was no time here there was no perception of time I was not in time I could go see like now a couple of seconds passed while I was doing that. There was no time there. There was no seconds. There was no minutes. There was no hours. There was nothing. It didn't exist. I was still in no time and I was begging to come back and not remember who I am. I was begging to come back to the pain. I was begging to come back to the heartache and the, the world and COVID and, and all of these things. I was begging to come back to the systems that we believe is here to uh, I was begging to come back to the drama. I was begging to come back to where I can feel the ground. I was begging to come back to everything. Like think of the worst thing in your life right now and know one thing that you chose to have that in your life right now. And know this, I was begging to come back to that. And also know, that's what these, these tools are here for. They're here to show you that the worst thing in your life right now has no power over you. The worst thing in your life right now is something that you choose to experience. That gives you the power of experiencing it. It doesn't have the power over you. You choosing to experience it. And it's a good thing, it's a bad thing, it's a, it's a... So I get off my bed. Walking, wobbling, wobbling. They send me back, guys. 
they send me back. I say, I'm back! I'm back! But the world doesn't feel the same. The world doesn't feel the same. I still have the power to, to go into paths. And I'm saying, please just give me the simple... I was so... I was so terrified that I wouldn't integrate back into this delusion because I knew it was a delusion that's the thing the power of really knowing I'm not talking about knowing ah, this is a matrix oh, oh this is uh, like the third dimension and I'm fifth dimension I'm seventh Oh, I'm I'm sixth dimension. I I have these feet. I have these perceptions. Uh, yeah. So I'm not in this. I'm talking about the power of really knowing that this is a delusion that you've created to keep you here. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't know if I was gonna let go of that. Cause if I didn't let go of that, believe me you guys, I can't be here, I can't have time, I can't record something and it goes half an hour and I feel it's half an hour, I wouldn't, there won't be, I couldn't, I couldn't even, I couldn't even record something, like, no, oh, you, 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 you. You know. So I begged. I still was pleading, begging, crying for it, crying for everything to go back. Crying for everything to go back. Crying for, uh, for myself to to come back. Because everything, I could do everything. I could do everything. I would heal anyone I wanted to heal. Like, I could heal anyone. I could be without my glasses forever if I wanted to. I could put my hand through a wall. yet I wanted none of it <laughs> I wanted it to be me I wanted to come here and drop a video and feel like like I'm trying to remember or I'm trying to get you to remember like I wanted to be back here so I wobble out of my room I go to the bathroom and I finally go to pee. This is five hours later. I don't know that. I still don't know that. I'll let you know how I realized that. And then I finally make it out the bathroom. Anyway, I finally make it out the bathroom and I go out the gate and I go out into the world. Woo! And I say this, I didn't want to go out in, outside because my room was that crazy. Outside, I didn't know what to expect. So I go outside and I'm still creating. I'm still creating things. I still think of something and it's happening. I'm still not here. I'm still not here and I I want to be here. I lay on the ground. Bang. I'm looking up in the sky and I can see like silver patterns 
in the sky and I realized the patterns are everywhere. We've put these patterns everywhere. Everywhere there's patterns to remind you who you are. I don't even know why. Why? We remind ourselves that we God and yet we know we came to be not God but yet we God I don't know I was like looking at that and I was like oh I'm God I'm that oh, I'm God I'm that oh, I'm God I'm that I was everywhere I was looking it was like that's you that's you that's you do you see that that's you I looked at the dogs and I saw me I could see a fly like a small bug like I could see it my visual was so clear so clear crystal clear it's like having an astral projection Colors were so vivid of the grass and all of that. I laid on my back, I laid on my side, I was trying to just come back. I knew for I knew I couldn't come back. I don't know how to explain to you guys what I was feeling, but I felt like that loop of the spiral of the beginning and the end of the beginning of the end of the beginning of the end of my life and of God and my life and my 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 God it felt like being God was being everything and all I wanted was to just be one thing, one human, and experience myself in other humans and in other things. So simple, so nice. Uh, that's exactly what it was. That's exactly what it was. Death don't exist. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Just, for, just to let you know, that doesn't exist. Oh, that hug with my mom, guys. You know, I hugged her, and I went back into my room, and I remember everyone who has had a journey in something whether it's ayahuasca, whether it's San Pedro, whether it's mushrooms, whether it's um, the, what's that thing, M MGO, the frog. I remember them coming off their trip and hugging with the same hug that I hugged. And it's the same feeling that I had. I mean, these were just signs all came back to me and it was just like I knew they knew so I'm on the floor and I am tossing and turning on the floor and I'm seeing things that is all me from chickens <laughs> that they were passing by uh, walking on the, on the side and, and I didn't give a hoot because I knew they don't exist but yet they exist but they don't exist they're energy and they're me so I'm looking at me on the floor through other eyes which is a chicken's eyes and they're saying ah that's me on the floor look at me going and learning about me and look at me knowing who I truly am HA! He knows who he is. Ha! I wonder what he's gonna do now. Oh my word. I can't wait to see this play out. I saw people walking on the road. Because our gate is in front of the yard. So they were walking on the road. And I, and I didn't care. 
I didn't care that I was laying on the floor. I didn't care that I was laying on the floor. So how I knew it was late already, because my mum comes out and she started feeding the dogs and we normally feed the dogs around 4.35. And as I'm laying there, time started coming back slowly. And the, the loop of, of everything started fading. And I, I finally came back. I finally came back. I finally felt the ground. It was vibrating, but I felt it. I finally looked up and I saw the moon. And it looked so clear, but I knew it was there and it was there. And I was here. I finally felt space between me and things. I finally... I touched a dog. Because when I started walking around, my mom was, I don't know what she was saying. But everything she said felt like she knew. I mean, I was panicking in my room and the music that was playing, gospel music, was saying things like, well, they weren't, but they were. They were singing and saying, like, you chose, you chose the life that you chose. Things like that. Be, be, just be grateful. So I touched the dog and my hand was vibrating. It felt like it was, like just say your hand was numb and you're touching things and it's like you want to feel it but you weren't feeling it. It was like that. It was like that. Touching dogs, it was feeling weird. But it was like they looked into my eyes and my eyes were different. Because I was looking into their soul. And it was like, I was looking into their soul and I was like, oh. You, you, you know? Oh, I can't believe you knew. Ah, oh, yeah. And I just started integrating things I just started I mean it started going slowly and I came back and I felt the walls and I felt my room and I felt the distance walking into my room and I felt everything I laid back in my bed and it was just calm and relaxed and I and I felt you know things were just getting back and this was like six when I was still in it but I was still it was just I, I was I was back I was back that was my experience and all I can say is just be grateful for everything. Be grateful for everything. Yeah, be grateful for everything. Be grateful for everything you're feeling right now. Be grateful for everything that you're going through right now. Laugh more. Uh, be, go and do the things that you want to do more. Um, Eat what your body feels like eating and be amazingly you. Yeah, be amazingly you. Well, I love you guys um, and I thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching the video until the end, if you have. Uh, I'm back, so I'm here now. So I gotta, I gotta be in the illusion and ask you guys, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, put a like, 
share this video with everyone. And everyone knows. Everyone needs to know. Everyone needs to know. Everyone needs to know. Crazy stuff. But it is, it is so healing to know that you chose everything and there's no wrong path there's no wrong anything you can be living on the street and it's not a wrong path there's no judgment in anything it's just being grateful and appreciating everything Thank you guys for being here. I love you all. Uh, I remember while I was in my chair, while I was, I, I, I just faded out. Like this is around 6 p.m., right? Things were coming back to normal. I grabbed my phone, I went outside, and I recorded a small clip. Probably put that up. I don't know what I said because I didn't listen to it yet. I just wanted to come here fresh without any of the trip uh, like vocals in my head and trying to piece things together and maybe if I saw the video I'll be like oh yeah this is no I didn't want to do all of that I just wanted to let you f remember what I remember and tell you guys. Thank you for being here. I love you all. Remember stay godly. Stay godly. Love this body. Love this body. This is God. This body is God. This is not a body and there's a spirit inside that's God and the spirit leaves and that's God. This is God. All of it is God. All of it is you. You chose all of this, every single thing, every single thing, you chose it. I saw a small, like a, a fiber flying here, because you might have seen my eyes going crazy. <laughs> I saw a small fiber, I chose to do that, to keep me here. Ah. <sighs> Stay godly. Namaste.